Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Writer. Uh, welcome. <laughs> I always do this. I, I get started, I'm all ready to go, and then bam, I just lose my train of thought. I totally forget where I'm going with anything. We are going to do some building today. Um, here's the thing. I, uh, I have a big project that I want to get done. And I've been talking about it for a while. Let's see what we got in the box. This is, this is what's going to tell us what we're going to do today. Oh, what could it be? As you can see, there's quite a bit of fence posts, dirt, a little bit of... Whoops, no, we're going to take the little one first. This isn't all of it, actually. We're going to get... Um, oh, sorry. Dirt, torches, uh, jack-o'-lanterns. I think we have enough there. Okay. And we are going to get started on the sheep farm today, as best we can before it gets dark. It looks like it's already starting to... Uh, we're losing the day already. It's it's afternoon, unfortunately. But we're going to try to get a quick start on it here. <clears throat> I'm not going to tape all this. My idea for a sheep farm is based on the same thing as the cattle. And now we have chicken. No, we got mushroom, chicken, and pork pens. And these sheep pens are going to end up being uh, used for the numerous varied colored sheep that uh, that I want to want to have, and it's going to be based. It's based on a, a design by Nebras over at the Minecraft server, and it, it's going to be way too big for me to show the whole thing. So I'm going to do a little talking here at the beginning, and we're going to get started on the first pen, and then we're going to, and then I'm going to cut away and pause and come back when I've made progress each time. Um, oops, pretty typical, you know, atypical stuff. Did I grab another stack of torches? No, I figured this would be enough. I'm also going to have to light this entire area in between the pens. What I've got marked off here are 16 25 by 25 zones. Uh, it's 4 by 4. Uh, and as you can see, I've already started putting down some of the... See, that's too low. Uh, it's going to cost me a lot of dirt, which means I'm going to get working on this one, probably use up all my dirt or most of it. Enderman has been there. And then have to go start digging out on the far ones. Um, in order to make ends meet, so to speak. But we're going to start pretty basically by making the 25 by 25 pen and then work on the interior pen, which is actually 14 by 14. Uh, there, are, there are water walls, which I still use, even though I've been told they're not potentially, they're not necessarily necessary. Oh, wow, that was an off sentence, sorry. I like how they look. I like the fact that I know the sheep are going to be safe um, since I'm going to be putting there are 16 different colors potentially of sheep and since uh, I know I'm only going to be doing about 10 of each sheep I might do a dozen this time then it just works out much easier to uh, go ahead and make sure that they're going to be safe. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to get some of the pumpkins placed first and uh, as far as I can, and then we're going to have to do some, some digging. I'm going to do a little talking here. Two, three, four, five. Before, ah, I'm going to do a little bit of talking, as I've been trying to say, before I uh, cut away. Because there's a few things I, one, two, three, four, five. As usual, I have trouble talking and doing anything else at the same time, which is just sad. But see, we're already, it's already getting dark, so we're going to throw down torches in here and um, work in here at night. Uh, this, is, this is how I set up the original sheep farm, was uh, one pen at a time. Um, now I've got a large chest in the basement full of nothing but fence posts. Uh, I've been bone mealing... Oh, see, this is too loud. I've been bone mealing trees and stuff to get the wood because gathering fence posts in abandoned mines is awesome but it was just going to take way too long I only had two rows of fence from all the gathering I've done so far minus, well that's after building that stuff so it was going to take forever so I decided to cheat well, not cheat per se but decided to hasten the process and just just go ahead and get the 
I might do a, you might, you guys might, and you know what, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my digital watch on my wrist, and still forgot to, to turn on the time. Sad. So I'm guessing we're a couple minutes, two or three minutes in already. <clears throat> anyway, welcome to episode 42. Yes, I'm doing the math. Uh, I'm a little ahead in making videos, but at the same time, I kind of know how far ahead I am. So, uh, 42 is my favorite number. My 42nd year of life, because yes, I'm old, ladies. Sorry. My 42nd year, uh, when I was 42, was about the best year of my life. I love the number because uh, those of you who don't do much reading would not potentially know that uh, the number 42 is the answer to the great question of life, the universe, and everything as written by Douglas Adams in his Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy trilogy, and uh, that was also included in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy television show, which was fantastic and much better than the movie. And I apologize to people who liked the movie. I was not terribly impressed, especially with the happy ending that got slapped on it, but I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it. Oh, see, look, there goes my, my dirt. It's just going. So anyway, welcome to episode 42. Hopefully it will be my favorite episode. We shall see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and replace these before I get blown up by creepers creeping up on me. Okay, I've written down some of the other things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, you know what? Um, I apologize, I should have said this earlier. I want to send a special thanks out to Emma Chats. To Emma at Emma Chats One, that's her YouTube channel. Uh, she's apparently been talking up my my channel a little bit with friends because I've gotten another subscriber who said Emma's been talking about your channel, and so thank you, Emma. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. I'm going to put a link in the video in the description down below to uh, it's Emma Chat One, and her videos are very cute. She is. I don't know how old she is exactly, but she's in fifth grade, and I really appreciate you watching. And I also appreciate Caden. I'm going to mispronounce your last name. Caden Rowe. It's either Caden Rowe or Caden Rowe, or maybe Caden Rowey or Rowey. In any case, I would also like to thank you for your patronage of my channel and for liking my videos. I um, that's and for commenting. Thank you so much for commenting. I don't get a lot of people comment. I get a few, and I appreciate every comment. So, thanks very much for watching and commenting. It is greatly appreciated. I am missing a pump. Oh, I haven't done this. Okay, that's right. Dur. Two, three, four, five. Bang. Let's put a couple more pumpkins in. See, I gotta fill this whole thing up. That's there in life. one of the basic problems right now. One, two, three, four, five. What else? Um, my death. Those of you who look after the ends of the videos probably noticed the death notice in, uh, ooh, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, oh, the walking about, walking around video. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was a bummer. I was not watching where I was going when I went after some cave spiders to kill them, and I ended up killing myself as well. Um, there was a spot where there was, there was lava flowing down, there was a spot where there was some, um, there was a walkway to get over to the area where I could get to the cave spiders to try to destroy the spawner. Unfortunately, I did not look down at my feet. I was looking up at the, uh, trying to look up at the cave spiders and make sure they didn't knock me into the lava. And in my carelessness, I stepped right over the edge into lava and lasted amazingly long, considering I was only wearing, uh, oops, I was wearing leather armor. No, 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 sorry. I was wearing iron armor. I tried to find a way out, panicked a little bit, realized I did not have water in my bar, which was so dumb. Because if you're walking around and messing around when there is lava about, you should definitely... Oh, hey guys. See, the... I'm going to do 16 of these, so... And you can see how empty most of the bottoms are. So, I died. Uh, I was really upset because at the time I had a really, really good sword pick and bow... I have since replaced Glamdring with Orchrist, which is not quite as good as Glamdring, but it is also a little better. <laughs> sharpness 3, Knockback 2, Fire Aspect 1. Uh, Glamdring was a Sharpness 4, Knockback 2. I replaced Old Reliable, which was a uh, what was it? Fortune 3, Hardness, Unbreaking 3 with Uber Fortune, which is a Fortune, 
I'm breaking three, fortune three, efficiency four, and I replaced Fred Collins' bow, which was a, let's see, let me think, punch two, it was a power four, punch two, fire aspect one, and my own Max Rider's bow is a flame one, power four, punch one. So, different. The bow's not quite as good, but almost. Uh, and I, I was so mad. Uh, and I, I went back to the area, and the only thing that survived the lava that I had fallen into, it didn't drown. I burned to death. So I think it was only one. I think the lava was only one deep. I'm talking really fast. In any case, um, I went back, and I believe the only thing that I was able to recover was a half stack of wood that I had collected. Luckily, I had not picked up the diamonds yet, so I was able to collect those, get a full load of stuff, and get back. Uh, I was sick to death over losing so many nice magic items, and then I spent the next day leveling, purchasing items from villagers, and enchanting a few new magic items. Okay, I do not have enough to even come close to doing what needs to be done here. I need more dirt. Okay, we've got a good start. Ah, get him away. So let's see. Um, hmm. How high is that one going to go? Wow, I am blanking here. Uh, I can go ahead and... Well, hmm. this area is pretty well lit. Oops. It doesn't matter. I can just leave that open. Let's throw a couple more torches up over here. I've got, I've got to take a look at one of my other pens because um, I'm blanking. I'm not. I'm used to digging out, not digging, not filling in. So, two down from the edge, and then, all right. So I died. I was bummed about it, and I made that short tribute. I, I wish I'd been taping. I should have been. There's no excuse for me not going into a terribly, terribly dangerous situation and not having the ow. Go away. And not having the, um, having fraps going. So, oh, genius. So there you have it. Okay, um, so it needs to actually come down three. So this is correct. But then the center's got to go up. Oh, darn it. I forgot to bring the good shovel, too. That's annoying. That's okay. Right now we're going to just place some dirt, and I will... Wow. Yeah, and I'm almost out of dirt, so... This one pen is just... has sucked down like six stacks of dirt. So this one is this step. Right? One, two, three. Right. Hmm. Why am I hearing... Oh, they must be outside. Oop, come on. And then actually, this one's going to go down one more before we get onto the well, eight minutes plus however much time I did not know I was recording before that. So we'll do this the hard way to start with, and then I'm going to go get the good pick because this goes at this level. But then we've got to fill in the middle, um, and it's got to be at only two lower than the top. Oh, for goodness sakes. And I don't have any picks. Well, good as message as any. All right. Um, ooh, fancy steps. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, and I will be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to get this one set up with, uh, get the pen done in the middle. Because I think, where's my little list? Oh, I do have something else to talk about. All right, I'll be right back, and we'll talk about the last thing, and then we're going to skip ahead. So be right back. And I'm back. Hey! Alright, so I grabbed Earth Mover. I should have called that the Earth Mover. Oh well. In case I need it. Um, got some wheat, because this is going to be done very ooh, quickly. I need to seal this guy back up, just in case. I don't want anything sneaking in and blowing me up. Uh, I was talking to the Puka. He's one of our players. He also makes videos. I am going to put a link. Oh. There. Turned on the turn on the timer that time. Sorry, um, I'm going to put a link in the description to his channel. Uh, he's also doing some videos on our server, which is very cool. Uh, that makes, right now, as far as I know, that makes three of us. Uh, Scotty Garbita, Scotty Garbitas, the Puka, 
and myself who are using new Atari server to make videos. Uh, so hopefully that will continue and uh, people will watch us all. What else? Um, let's see, let me take my list. 42, Death by Fire. Call the dentist. Oh wait, wrong list. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what I meant to say... Dang it. This thing's a little too much sometimes. What I meant to say was, um, issue num uh, ish. episode number 50 is coming up soon. This is episode 42, and I'm thinking that with... Okay, this I have to do in a certain way so the grass will climb. Hold on. I'm thinking with the... And this whole thing needs to go up, too, because it needs to be too lower than that. So we're going to go ahead and add two to some of these and get the grass moving. Anyway, uh, episode 50 is going to be coming up. This is episode 42, for sure. Episode 50 will be... I'll be working... Uh, and as I was going to say before I so rudely interrupted myself, um, which means episode 50 is on the way. Gosh, I cannot finish this thought. Um... I'm saying I'm too much again, too. What the? Oh. As this episode, as the sheep farm episode is going to take me several days to do, and will, but will probably be, this This will be the longest part of it, and after this I'll be like saying, ba-bam, got number two done, number four, or whatever. Um, as this will probably take at least two episodes, uh, I'm thinking, is this not going to work? Will grass not go up to? Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to rethink this. I've, I've dropped grass before. I've never raised it up. So I guess we're going to have to do a little bit at a time. Like so. Just one row at a time. Anyway. Wait a minute. Is this the wrong size? No, 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 no. no. That's right. That's right. Uh, this... this Building the sheep farm will probably cover at least two episodes, maybe three or four. So, but I wanted to plan something special for we're going to do two here for episode fifty. So, gosh, I don't know where I was going with this. It's going to be something. Okay, that's working at least. See, I've got to get the grass coming up, so we're going to have to lose the top layers of these. Um. I'm planning something special for episode 50. FYI. I know I... Uh, it's, it's kind of a big deal. I mean, I didn't kn know if I would enjoy doing this enough to continue. I was hoping I would. I, I've been really liking, enjoying making these videos, and I'm hoping everybody has been enjoying watching them. And once again, shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I, I appreciate every single one of you. I'm so glad to have all of you on board. And uh, I hope that you will continue to enjoy the videos that I'm making. And keep watching, commenting. Well, you already subscribed, so that doesn't matter. What I can do is go ahead and place down the fence post. Ah, oh, what am I going to need is water. Dang it. No, we'll figure that out when the time comes. In any case, episode 50 is going to be a little different, a little special. Um, I've got I've got some plans for it already. Uh, we're gonna see what happens, and I'm hoping that it will be enjoyable by everybody. So stay tuned, unless um, something traumatic or awful happens. It should be coming within what's this 42. It will be a little more than a week from this video airing. That is that episode number 50 is gonna be coming up, and if anybody has any ideas, well, right now I'm recording over about a week in advance so just because that's where the time that I'm able to record lies and I'm trying to get far enough ahead that I won't have to worry about not ever uh oh was I short okay that's bad is this the wrong size by one Fourteen by fourteen, so I must have been short one piece of fence post when I started this. 
because the way that these things are set up, it takes exactly two um, two stacks of fence to put the fencing around the bottom half for the for the water. Um, oops. I'll film these guys up first for the the water wall. Okay, these are coming along very nicely. So we're gonna fill these guys in. Top and bottom. I'm trying to get the grass to grow upwards so that uh, I don't have to worry about getting grass in here. Oh, I'm so dumb. I need to figure out where jack lanterns are going to go and get them placed first, and then that saves me a little bit of time and effort later. And it's getting dark, and it's a little dark in here, so. One, two, three. Let's get these all put in place. Bam. Here. Sorry, stopped talking. Yep, that's the right spot. Yeah, I stopped talking completely. Wow. I, uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, so stay tuned for episode 50. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I have something, like I said, very special planned. Uh, something original that... Uh, not well, not 100% original, but original, an original version of something other people have done, and I'm hoping people will enjoy it and find it a lot of fun to watch. I've also got a ton of pumpkins down below. Oh, and dye! I made a bunch of dye. I made a bunch of dye. Uh, I'm wanting to wait for some of these to actually grow. Excuse me. Okay, what was I doing? Lost my train of thought as usual. Um, I made plenty of dye. There's enough dye that I'll have some left over after. Okay, this guy. Okay. Sorry, chicken. Wait, didn't he? Could have sworn I saw a carcass. Oh, there it is. Yes. I'm going to eat that right now. Distract it again. And eat in the middle and skin off the bar. Uh, I've got plenty of dye. Uh, I made enough so that I can actually... So I'll have extra leftover later. But at the same time, there's plenty to do to do up all the sheep. To do a couple sheep uh, of each color so that I can start this lovely multicolored sheep farm. I know you guys think I'm crazy. It's like, why is he doing it that way? Um, and I am trying to get the grass to grow upwards. And it will grow faster if it's surrounded and and all that jazz. So, Anyway, I'm going to finish up this pen and then I will be right back and that will probably end up the episode. Um, so episode two will be some progress on other pens. So I will be right back. And there you have it. There's the basics of the sheep pen, number one. This one will hold white sheep. I need to go get some. Uh, so I will be right back once i got some sheep in here. I'm also going to breed a bunch of sheep. There's a ton of sheep back in this area, I hope still. And I'm going to breed them like crazy uh, as long as I can just to make sure that we have plenty to pick from. So I'll be back. So, of course, it's getting dark, uh, <clears throat> but I would really like to get at least two sheep back here. I don't have to breed other sheep, but if we can just grab this guy, and there's another guy right there. And we can get them back into the pen. At least that's a bit of a start. Awesome. I don't know why I always end up having to gather my... Oh, there's a third sheep. Come on. Come on, guys. Seems like it's always at night when I have to get animals. In this case, at least they were close. Come on. I need to run torch lines. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. Hop up. Follow me. That's it. You can do it. Yes. 
Come on. Come in. Come in. One. Okay, he's trapped forever. Oh, what is your problem, sheep? <clears throat> that zombie gets over here. Okay. Success. And there we have two bred sheep. And this will be our white. This will be our white entrance. Now, unlike a lot of the others, I don't put, um... I don't put the, uh, what do you call them? The trap doors here. Mainly because it doesn't need it. And I'm only going to end up with maybe ten. Might go for a dozen sheep in each pen. I'd love to do sixteen, but it feels like it's pushing it. Uh, so I'm going to do 10. Oh, there's another sheep out there. I didn't get to do the breeding that I wanted to do, nor do I have the next pen ready. Oh, I'm hungry, that's why I'm moving so slow. That's okay, there's the first pen done. That'll be the end of episode 1. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. We're going to continue breeding these sheep, and we're going to get working on the other uh, 16 pens. Yeah. In the long run, it'll be worth it. I'll have so much wool. And then, and I'll give you guys a preview, over in this area we're going to put another farm. Farmhouse. I don't need crops because all the crops are there, so I'm going to clear out this area, fence her in, put a farmhouse in there, and just make it kind of nice, place for storage for the wool. That's it. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate my subscribers. I will be filming off and on as I continue to work on these various sheep farms, so look forward to episode 2, which will be coming up soon, if not tomorrow. And once again, thanks very much for watching. See the...